This video is brought to you by Blackstone Academy. Have you ever heard of these magnificent lights in the sky? You know, the ones you see in the North Pole? Maybe you've even seen them yourself. Well, these lights are called the Northern Lights. In this presentation, I will teach you about these lights and how they form. Before we begin, you'll need to learn some important vocabulary. The first word is a solar flare. A solar flare is a brief yet high energy radiation eruption from the sun's surface. An ion is an atom or molecule that is electrically charged. Here, of course, are the sun and the earth. These lights, or auroras, occur in the ionosphere, which is a layer of the atmosphere that contains ions. It is also the second closest layer of the atmosphere to space. Here is our representation of the ionosphere. To form the northern lights, there must be a solar flare. Here's our solar flare. During a solar flare, the sun will emit charged particles. These charged particles will be carried to the earth by something called solar wind. Solar wind will carry these particles to the earth, as I said before. But the charged particles will enter or break the Earth's magnetic shield near the poles. These areas where the charged particles do this are called the aurora ovals. These areas are where the northern lights occur. These charged particles will collide with molecules or atoms in the atmosphere. When they do this, it will cause the atom or molecule to become electrically charged and it will cause it to send out bursts of light. These electrically charged molecules or atoms are called ions, which I covered in the previous slide. So, when many molecules join together and shoot out bursts of light, it will form an aurora or the northern lights. Here is a diagram of what I just explained. So first, the sun will have a solar flare, which will emit charged particles. Then solar wind will carry these charged particles to the earth. These charged particles will then penetrate the earth's magnetic shield near the poles. They will enter the earth's atmosphere near the poles too, in an area called the aurora ovals. These are where auroras form. Auroras can come in two sets of different colors. The first set of different colors is pink and purple. Pink and purple auroras form when electrically charged particles from the sun collide with nitrogen molecules. Red and green auroras form when oxygen molecules collide with electrically charged particles from the sun. So red and green is our oxygen mo molecules, and pink and purple are nitrogen molecules. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on another Blackstone Academy video.